Today, we're going to transform this to this. We are going to use something called colored zeolite. What are zeolites? According to Britannica.com, zeolite is any member of a family of hydrated aluminosilicate minerals that contain alkali and alkaline earth metals. The zeolites are noted for their lability toward ion exchange and reversible dehydration. There are two ways to use zeolite for gardening. The first one is hydroculture. Zeolite is porous and it is most suitable for hydroculture because its water purification effect can prevent roots from rotting. Pot the plant after adding colored zeolite up to one-fourth of the container and then add more colored zeolite a little at a time to secure the plant. Finally, add water up to half the container. Always keep the zeolite wet. Another way is when planting in a pot. Just mixing zeolite into your usual gardening soil can enhance air permeability and water retention characteristics. To use this, add 15% colored zeolite to your usual gardening soil and mix well. Pot plant after adding the mixed soil up to one-fourth of the container. Finally, add a generous amount of water. For this project, we will be following the instructions for hydroculture. Step 1. Add colored zeolite up to one-fourth of the container. Step 2. Pot the plant. Step 3. Add more colored zeolite a little at a time to secure the plant. Step 4. Add water up to half of the container. Since I'm scared to mess this up, I'm just going to use a squeeze bottle to put water here. This might take a long time, but it's okay. I'll be patient. Instructions also say to always keep the zeolite wet. I love it. 
here's the finished book. It wasn't so hard. I thought it'd be hard, but it's not. And it, it, I think it looks great. Just wanted a little bit more color here on top, but I ran out of colored zeolites, and I just had the two. I just had the white ones left. But I think it looks great. What do you think? Comment down below. And I'll see you in my next one.